यूपी और उत्तराखंड की खबरों के लिए एबीपी गंगा को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन दबाएं। नमस्ते माय कैबिनेट कलीग नमस्ते श्री रविशंकर प्रसाद जी चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ कर्नाटका श्री बी एस येडियुरप्पा जी एंड ऑल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स from the tech world it is also fitting that technology is helping organize this important summit on technology friends we launch digital india mission Five year back. Today, I'm glad to say that digital India is no longer being seen as any regular government initiative. Digital India has become a way of life, particularly for the poor. marginalized and for those in government thanks to digital india our nation has witnessed a more human centric approach to development using technology on such a large scale has brought about several life changes for our citizens the benefits are for everyone to see our government has successfully created a market for digital and tech solutions but it has made technology a key part of all schemes our governance model is technology first through technology we have enhanced human dignity millions of farmers receive monetary support in one click at the peak of the covid-19 lockdown it was technology that ensured that india's poor received proper and quick assistance the scale of this relief has few parallels if india is successfully operating the world's largest healthcare scheme Ayushman Bharat it is due to a big role of technology this scheme has specially helped the poor of india now they no longer have to worry about access to top quality and affordable healthcare in any part of india our government has used the power of data analytics to ensure better service delivery and efficiency internet came to india around 25 years ago as per a report the number of internet connections recently cross the 750 million milestone but do you know that over half of these numbers joined in the last 4 years only technology is the prime reason over schemes have gone beyond files 
and change lives of the people at such a speed and scale. Today, when we are able to help the poor build their home at an unprecedented scale, speed and transparency, it is thanks to technology. Today, when we are able to provide electricity to almost all households, technology has played a key role. Today, when we are able to cross tall booth faster, it is due to technology. Today, it is also technology which gives us the confidence that we will be able to vaccinate our large population in a short period of time. Friends, when it comes to technology, the way ahead lies in learning and growing together. Inspired by that approach, a number of incubation centers are opening in India. Over the last few years, a great culture of hackathons has developed in India. I've attended some of them too. Our young minds come together and think of ways to solve key challenges our country and planet faces. Similar, hackathons have been held in collaboration with Singapore and ASEAN nations. The government of India is providing support to our vibrant startup community whose skill and success are now world famous. Friends, we have often heard that Pratikul Parisityo mein Pratibha Bahar Lane ka Prabhav Rakti hai. Challenges bring out the best in people. Perhaps it is relevant for many of India's techies. When there is a demanding customer or there are pressing deadlines, you would have seen that some talents which even you did not know it starts, starts coming out. Global lockdowns, travel restrictions have constrained people inside their homes, away from their place of work. At such a time, the resilience of our tax sector was seen. Our tax sector came into action and used tax solutions to keep work going on from home and from anywhere. The tech industry recognized a great innovation opportunity in bringing people together. The COVID-19 pandemic was a ban in the path, not the end. Ye to raste ka ek band tha, end nahi. The amount of tech adoption that would not have happened in that decade happened in just a few months. Work from anywhere has become the norm and and is going to stay. We will see a high amount of tech adoption in the fields of education, health, shopping, and more. Since I have the opportunity to directly engage 
with some of the most brilliant minds in the tech world i want to confidently say thanks to your efforts we can certainly make the user experience better using technology to make the physical digital convergence seamless we can surely further make the tech tools more user friendly friends achievements of the industrial era are in the rear view mirror and now we are in the middle of information era future is coming sooner than anticipated we should quickly said the beyond we will said the bygone era thinking in the industrial era change was linear but in the information era change is disruptive and big in the industrial era first mover advantage was everything in the information era first mover does not matter the best mover does anyone can make a product any time that disrupts all existing equations of the market in the industrial era boundaries matter but the information era is about going beyond boundaries in the industrial era sourcing raw material was a key challenge and only a few had access to it in the information era the raw material which is information is everywhere in front of us and everyone has access to it india as a country is uniquely positioned to leap ahead in the information era we have the best minds as well as the biggest market our local tech solutions have the potential to go global india is at a sweet spot it is time for tech solutions that are designed in india but deployed for the world friends our policy decisions are always aim at liberalizing tech and innovations industry recently as you might have heard we have is the compliance burden on the it industry in various ways beside that we have always tried to engage with stakeholders in the tech industry and chart out future proof policy framework for india you you all are the drivers of this industry can we make a conscious attempt to take our product level innovation to the next level a framework level mindset has the potential to build an ecosystem of multiple successful products creating a framework is like teaching many people to fish and also enabling them with a fishing net and a lake of full fish one such example of a framework level mindset was upi beam upi conventional product level thinking would have meant we would come out with just a digital payment product instead we provided india with upi an umbrella platform where everyone can host their digital payment products and plug in digital payments 
This empowered many products. Last month, recorded more than 2 billion transactions. We are doing something similar in the National Digital Health Mission. Some of you may have also heard about the Swamitva scheme. It is an ambitious scheme to give land titles to millions of people in our rural areas. This will also be achieved through technolo technology like drones. This will not only bring an end to many disputes, but also empower people. Once the property rights are given, technology solution can ensure prosperity. Friends, technology is setting the pace for the defense sector to evolve. Earlier, wars were determined by who had better horses and elephants. Then came the era of firepower. Now, technology is playing a very important role in global conflicts. From software to drones to UAVs, technology is redefining the defense sector. Friends, with the rapid increase of tech use, data protection as well as cyber security become very, very important. Our youth can play a big role in devising robust cyber security solutions. These solutions can effectively vaccinate digital products against cyber attacks and viruses. Today, our fintech industry is doing very well. Millions of people are doing transactions without any hesitation. This is because of people's trust, which is very important to be preserved and made stronger. A sound data governance framework is also our priority. Friends, while today I focus mainly on information technology, the scope and need for innovation is as relevant in the field of science as well, be it bioscience or engineering innovations, is the key to progress. India has a clear advantage when it comes to innovation. Because of the talent of our youth and their gene to innovate, friends, the potential of our youth and possibilities of technology are endless. It is time we give our best and leverage them. I am confident that our IT sector will keep making us proud. Thank you. Thank you very much.